Hello folks and welcome to my daily analysis. Today it's going to be really a quick one and just um, to announce that I'm, I'm not going to provide any analysis tomorrow. I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Um, my, my dad is uh, not doing well at the moment. Absolutely not well. Uh, he is 80 years old and um, yeah, not looking great at the moment. So but I know um, and I, I it's part of my responsibility I, I know that many of you are are waiting uh, for my analysis to have the market um, overview and so let us start and to make a quick analysis what's happening at the moment and um, yeah let's let us just start. Um, wealth ratio, 30 days moving average is still maintaining its trend. So it's it's really just looking like these guys are uh, ex uh, planning the next big uh, price move, uh, in my opinion. And doesn't usually it it's not it's not bullish when the wealth ratio 30 days moving average uh, lifts up. So in my opinion, uh, we should be very careful at the moment. We are maintaining at 19,355. Um, I can just a little teaser. We have a gamma wall at 19,250. So indicating we have a support area there and we have a 20K, a huge call wall indicating and that's uh, why we bounced there. Um, it was for me at least uh, related to trading a very nice day to be honest because uh, you know uh, I was even hedging to the upside and then I closed my my long and shorted almost at 19,800 uh, a little bit higher so it was absolutely uh, great however uh, what is happening here and why I'm still expecting we will go a little bit more up with the wave ratio 30 hours moving average um, because I see we are maintaining even we are not touching one uh, 100 percent anymore that was very common for example in June it's not happening however the wave ratio 30 hours moving average is indicating and hitting the 90 and the 90 is always the critical level above of 90 a huge sell pressure will uh, be initiated and so we need to be extremely careful for this weekend then um, stable con supply declined even more much more uh, while we had this volatile price move now at the moment uh, lifting up a little bit and the uh, stable coin reserves on centralized exchanges you can see i mean we were here declined lifted up a little bit and lifting up but not really indicating uh, that we are receiving a lot of stable coins indicating we will have a big big pump i mean weekends is always like i like forest Gump would say just um, a box of candies so we don't know what's going to happen with low volume maybe nothing just to maintain the cme uh close for today maybe they will shake out um over the weekend and then sunday just um to go back to the cme friday close level we don't know yet and uh, that's too early uh, we will see if we can figure out some expectations and let us go forward so uh flow activity a lot happened really a lot happened it looks like very huge at least on stable coins but it's not so if we um dis disable uh the stable coins we can see that um, we have received at least yesterday night or at least yesterday um we have received a lot of bitcoins and but we also can see here bigger outflows as well. So um, also indicating here at the moment, if uh, we show the, the net flow uh, right now, indicating here it's going down. So while they are right now distributing, that's why the price is declining. Um, 
or at least I, I would say here the, the most um, interesting part is uh, they withdraw uh, the Bitcoins here. So usually that means they were starting to distribute here. They took their uh, Bitcoins then here. That was today in the morning. And afterwards we received even more Bitcoins. Uh, for example, here that was a few hours ago, 2,300 Bitcoins. Uh, then uh, an hour later 500, another 1,300 Bitcoins and another 1,000 Bitcoins now. So indicating in the last two hours another 2,300 Bitcoins. Um, while we are also here, for example, 3,200 Bitcoins outflow in the last two hours. So it means we have another distribution and of course someone is buying that's always the case otherwise the price would crash and yeah that's what we see uh, if i um, just okay activate stable coins and maybe i don't know why it's taking that long ah um nothing really nothing we are not even talking about well that's that's almost four millions here the biggest today was here with 5,800,000. That's absolutely nothing. Peanuts. Uh, while we have almost the same amount in outflow. So also here indicating they took, they, they, they are taking profit, they are selling. Um, and yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. So also here, absolutely nothing big uh, to be honest, but uh, we don't know how much Bitcoins they are still on centralized exchanges waiting. So I would be extremely careful this weekend, to be honest. Um, I, I don't have any special expectation, but um, I don't know, I, I don't like that. Um, so we will see how, how Bitcoin CME is going to, to close its session today. And I guess tonight nothing will happen and maybe even tomorrow nothing will happen but we know that saturday to sunday is usually the most exciting day over the weekend let us go forward so futures um at least we can see that um we have received a lot of stable coins i need to check Uh, almost 170 millions here so we are coming back to bigger inflows also here 218 millions and if we check that afterwards both were while the funny rate lifted up so we can check that for example here afterwards up and then here afterwards up so not sure if that's indicating that these guys are longing at least based on the funny rate could be if we check the funding rate in general or these indicators here we can see that funding rate lifted up very much declined a little bit now lifting up once again indicating we retraced after yesterday push up but they are still expecting we will go up much more um, as mentioned gamma wall indicating 20k so if we want to cross 20k, we need volume. We need more, you know, brave bulls um, to push up. Uh, otherwise, we will go up to 20k, maintain there. But it seems that's the new rule. And that's why even it declined here a lot after um, the price action, the estimated leverage ratio did that move and it's declining at the moment, however, um, if we check, for example, the open interest, the open interest did something similar, but much more lower. Also here indicating they are still using higher leverage and it seems they use this maybe higher leverage just because, um, yeah, the meantime, we are not doing big steps to the upside or to the downside. That's why I'm hatching all the time because usually, usually, I mean, yesterday was a very volatile day, but usually we make sideways runs or at least, so it makes sense to use then a higher leverage, even if it's a big risk that exchanges can 
uh, liquidate you, you know, just pushing up very hard or, or down. Uh, related to bitcoins and derivative exchanges not happening anything so really very low is still maximum 2400 bitcoin yesterday at least uh, we had 3400 where i was uh, yelling yeah yeah the volume is coming back but it seems at least related to stable coins yes but not related to bitcoins at least not big however um I think that many of these Bitcoins here are coming from MM entities because they are reducing their balances more and more and more. Still not accumulating. They are just making money, buying the dip, selling at higher price and in my opinion to dump even more. From the 60,000 Bitcoins they raised in their balances, they reduced afterwards 30. So we still have 30,000 Bitcoins on the table and it seems they are still not in mood to nuke or something. So they are distributing, making money in my opinion. As you see, that's the aggregated leverage ratio. It's very close to its autumn high while the open interest is maintaining its level and even the funding rate maintains neutral. However, yesterday, if we go to the one hour time frame, they also liquidated a lot. Um, of course, uh, longs 1467 here and a few hours later another 600 Bitcoins. And then they start to liquidate some, some shorts, late shorts, for example, 480 here. Then a few hours later, another 350 because many were expecting we will go down directly afterwards. And I mentioned many times in the past, that's what they are doing. If they see shots are coming in, they push up. When you think, okay, it's done, we will retrace. They push even more up. And then you say, okay, that's it. Now I can shot. They push another time. So that's what they do. They go one up, one big just to create some, you know, because the people have this pattern. I, also here, I have one. Don't feel comfortable with any kind of level because they will do exactly that. We go up very hard. Okay, afterwards we will go down. Then they do another leg up very hard to liquidate those late shorts. And that's what they did with the last big one. I mean, everyone was feeling very bearish here, indicating, okay, 19,400, we will go down afterwards. To be honest, I was expecting 19,500 yesterday as well as the local top. But then in the night, they used the opportunity with low volume to push up even more to liquidate all these shots. In my opinion, that wasn't a whale, but that's another thing we know who has a big interest. They liquidated 1,855 Bitcoins in shorts. That's the first time, I mean, we can check that. The last time they did that, that was in not even that much was here, 1,400 Bitcoin. So they liquidated a lot of shorts yesterday in one single candle, in one single hour. And well, right now they are liquidating more longs, of course, but also here nothing big at the moment. So in my opinion, a big move will happen. Uh, I'm convinced it will happen, but at the moment it's still unclear uh, up or down for me. Even I'm bearish. I'm still bearish, much more than bullish, to be honest. But however, we need to be extremely careful here. We see open interest. And leverage ratio right now because I need uh, just really to zoom out if I go to the daily we will see the big gap between uh, the leverage ratio and the open interest indicating using less volume but more leverage um, and that's Binance and we see on Binance that they are just you know um, they demanded more longs, then more shorts, then more longs. That's what they are demanding right now. While uh, leverage ratio and open interest, at least once again on Binance, looking healthy. 
well healthy still too high on leverage ratio but not a big gap like for example in the aggregated one that was today a few hours ago um if we refresh the site now wow people indicating here yeah we have received almost 200 millions in shots since yesterday and we have reduced a little bit of longs but still too high and i will be extremely careful but in my opinion we will go down in my opinion we will go down i'm not sure yet if we will do it this weekend but i will be extremely careful and once again on ethereum looking much more healthy um come on Jesus Kingfisher, come on now. So let us make a quick analysis here related to Kingfisher. Okay, great. Yeah, so we have two, two interesting parts. Uh, the first part here even the volume we don't have 100 millions anymore we just have 60 millions here indicating so in my opinion that would be a very interesting scenario go up to 20k where we have a gamma wall and then go down back to uh what is that 19,140 or 19,200 so where the next gamma wall is we have a support and a resistance area so it's absolutely possible that we will liquidate those both in my opinion maybe first this one and then go down once again so it's not that big seven hundred dollars up and then almost eight hundred dollars down something we need to consider as a potential scenario for the weekend so let us see if here uh, the structure is similar to FTX. It takes a little bit as usual. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it looks very similar. We have exactly the same here on FTX. We don't need even to go to 19,100. So there where the gamma wall is, they would liquidate this part. They could liquidate this part, at least this part. No, yeah, this part. So without any problem. So I think we can, this part here should be in danger. And they will try to liquidate them in my opinion so nice if you want to trade the swing to be honest but always be careful and that's why i'm hedging um, much less volume in liquidations as you can see we had um 1800 now 1200 so declining and these two here are not matching uh, to the infra, uh, to the structure of Binance. This one looks extremely accurate and this one not indicating on FTX is someone that wants to push up the price or at least it's longing more. Okay, that's it. Let us go forward. So what happened? Um, FTX, I mean, they distributed all the time, you remember uh they were distributing then they started to lift up not big at all absolutely not and now distributing so indicating it will match that we will go down to 19k maintain there and at certain point to go down hitting 18k if they want to do it so uh, in that case as we have the gamma wall there they really need to push hard very hard but the mm entity has lost his gun so it's possible on Binance, um, as you see, they both also here, not, not that huge what they did, but they are not distributing yet. That's really crazy. It looks completely different to what um, FTX did. Um, so FTX just, uh, let me see, look, it looks really different. 
So uh, Bitfinex, pff, Bitfinex using once again uh, the opportunity. They didn't both big last time, but um, just here pump and dump, for example. Um, so they they both here, um, and then they sold just Tiger, and that's it. They are also distributing, and um, even Coinbase. Uh, that's wondering me, but. It looks like, yeah, even Coinbase is distributing at the moment. So also doesn't look very bullish, to be honest. I would be extremely careful here. I'm still waiting for the CME uh, report of um, of um, this week um, because the last one was um, October 4th. That was Tuesday. So uh, the next one should then come out last Tuesday, maybe next Tuesday. I'm not sure if it's every two weeks, but hedge funds were buying shorts and selling longs. Um, so also here indicating they are making a big bet against Bitcoin once again. And we know that these guys are really, really, really accurate. So entities, retailers lifting up. And here, well, declining a little bit, but nothing big. This guy's lifting up. This guy's lifting up. They love the dip to sell afterwards. So it wouldn't, if we go up to 21K, this guy's will absolutely uh, sell them. Market Maker, as mentioned, they uh, raise their balances by 60,000, reduce already 30. So we still have 30K there. The question is, are these guys going to use this 30k or that's it you know i mean if they are going to reduce 30k over the weekend uh, i would go big short because and these guys are lifting up um so many of them 80 percent almost linked to centralized exchanges like bitfinex binance and so on and so forth so when you see they balances are lifting up that's potentially indicating that their balances of hot uh, of hot wallets and cold wallets of um of centralized exchanges are just rising um i need to refresh this site it takes just a little bit just to see but it's delayed uh, by two hours I don't know why however um, I have said when I saw these um, bitcoins we need to be extremely careful because it's not the first time they do that they send bitcoins to spot way top sell that's what they do um, at least we can see here that the um, that the Bitcoin reserves on centralized exchanges are not lifting up. At least we are getting also, we are receiving also um, outflows and it's not, it's maintaining, it's not declining. It lifted up, they sold them and now it's maintaining. But since here we have still a gap of 10,000 while we had a lot of outflows. So it means we still have a lot of Bitcoin um accumulated on 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 centralized exchanges waiting for what we know for what um so derivative exchanges looking like wow crazy because everything is down here um yeah what should i say i mean pff, the trend is absolutely crazy for exchanges looking extremely bad miners don't care and wow, look that. I mean, the price is right now in the hands of OTC. I have mentioned many times that OTC looks very bearish. I don't know why exactly. OTCs like Genesis, it seems they are selling. While, and that's the activity, once again, zero. You remember? I mean, we had zero just a few days ago. And that was just for a half hour or something. Where was that? I think that was here. That was October 9th, so five days ago. 
and now since wow I mean is that let me re check that because that that's crazy no ah okay that well I was I was a little bit it was looking very scary to, to because that would mean no fund flows related to centralized exchanges almost they are dead you know that that would be extremely but however we can see here that's um green it's uh coinbase and coinbase fund flow here in the top hmm, someone sent it seems bitcoins to coinbase um to dump afterwards and also giving me now part of it and so on and so forth so yeah okay that looks now much better than the flat line yeah that's it so what's happening here we have um as you can see they absorb um these um this um um, um buy order and went up afterwards and i guess they are going to look for the 18k that's my personal opinion if that's going to happen this weekend i don't know but it looks at the moment it really looks like they are looking for more um, buy orders that's not bullish at all but it seems they are really trying to distribute and looking for buy orders at the moment so coinbase here waiting at 18.5 and even here at 18 um they uh, also have here some sell orders well not really clear if they are spoofing or what kind uh, but as you see they reinforced even here at 16k for example so we need to be extremely careful it wouldn't be the first time i think in june with the big nuke that also started on weekends we need to be extremely careful so that's why i'm hatching once again I mean, only if I see, for example, it looks solid and we will bounce, I close usually my hatch um, and, and push all my funds to the other uh, position. Um, but for the weekend, um, if we are going to make a swing, okay, fine, but I will not stop to hatch because I don't trust the weekends anyway. There a bit. Deribit is still here at mm, almost 20k and 20,300 limiting the way up even they reduced uh, the volume bitstamp bitstamp also here still waiting between 20,500 and 21,000 also waiting here at 18.3 but the biggest one here close to the price is at 18k and as you can see uh, they are not removing all the liquidity here so they are still expecting a big price move to the downside in my opinion it's going to happen end of october maybe uh, in, in in the beginning of november because we will have interest rate decision then and in my opinion 75 pps to 100 pps are on the table 75 pps are almost uh, priced in already but 100 bps not not yet at least so binance what's happening on binance also here absolutely not removing liquidity instead still adding more liquidity to the downside to prices that in my opinion are utopic because 14 13 and so on and so forth the big volume i mean if we see the density of volume starts at 18350 to 17.5 that would be a double bottom retest of our current bottom and then up that would be cool um, to the upside 20,000 and so on and so forth so you can see what they did it was also for me very clear they don't want to let the price go up and match very well to the gamma wall so it was a very easy trade today uh, that doesn't happen that was really obvious Bitfinex, Bitfinex right now, as you see, they are okay. That that's big here with 360. Oh, that's that's really big. Uh, Bitfinex don't want to let the price go down 
below 19,200 at the moment. That's really interesting. Why they have here, if we reduce a little bit more the volume, look what they are doing. Uh, that's also um, very interesting. Why they still have at 21K a big uh, sell order, well, big relatively, and they removed at 20,700. So very interesting what Bitfinex is doing here, that spot. But at the moment they are really trying and 300 Bitcoins on Bitfinex, that's a lot. FTX perp, look, they removed a lot of short orders. Now we still have which um, some between 20,000 and 20,500, but afterwards they removed them. That's really interesting. Also something we need to be careful. Um, and a long position, and that's the only one big below the current price, it's at 17.8. That looks interesting, FTX. That looks very, very interesting. OKEX, nothing. Kraken, also waiting at 18K and a lot of volatile, uh, liquidity to the downside, while like FTX, PERP reduced to the upside. BitMEX. Nothing. Binance Futures. Mm, still looking here. Look how much short positions waiting here. Much more than to the downside. But also he had 18.5 waiting with the long one. And 18, but 18 is not that big. Bitfinex derivatives. Uh, we have here, but nothing big, really not. Kraken Futures, nothing. Okex Futures, waiting at 17.2 and 16.6. Removed the short at 22. And FTX Bot. FTX Bot, uh, also he indicating much more to the upside. So. They really want at the moment to distribute. They want to sell. They want to sell at the moment, limiting at 19,130. Mm, and that's it. They placed a new wall at 14,000. So something is in the air. Something is in the air. And we are coming closer and closer and closer and closer. That's it.